Skips Blue Jays clinch its first AL East title since 1993. What a time to be alive. Blue Jays have 47 wins post-All-Star break. It ties their franchise record with the 1989 team. The Yanks, however, are yet to clinch. They're two and a half games back in the AL wildcard race. They conclude a series with Boston today before a three-game series in Baltimore to finish the season. So, Skip, your Jays are in. Stephen A., your Yankees not yet, but there, of course, is still a chance. What do you have to say, Mr. New York? Well, congratulations to the Toronto Blue Jays organization. <laughs> uh, you know. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Spit it out. Look, it's been 22 years. Uh, they had to get lucky sometime. Uh, yeah. They got right. lucky because they got Tulowitzki. Obviously, the biggest deal was on July 30th when they acquired David Price. That was what turned this organization around. Uh, their bats are lethal. Uh, with, with, even though Tulowitzki has been out. Uh, for several weeks. The bottom line is once they got to Lewitsky, they went on like a 13-14 game tier, really setting the tone. Uh, Batista and Donaldson are no joke. Having LaTroy Hawkins and those boys uh, in the bullpen with David Price ultimately being acquired on July 30th turned this team around. But my Yankees, disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Steven Drew batting 201. That's what the games he played. Uh, Teixeira consistently and perpetually injured when it counts most. Mm -hmm. I don't know I want to know, I would love somebody to show me the stat of the player who's been on the 15-day disabled list more times than Mark Deshera. Oh. Because, I mean, I, you talk about, and I, he's such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he really contributes a lot, skipping heavily to the mm -hmm. Major League Baseball RBI program, reviving baseball in the inner city. So I really appreciate the person that Mark Deshera is. But they're paying him $180 million for a reason. And good Lord have mercy, he's never around when it counts. Got 31 home runs this year, but that's when he was around. Your leading home run hitter is Alex Rodriguez with 33. And remember, he was batting 277. But suddenly, since the Toronto Blue Jays acquired their horses, this dude's batting average has dipped by 25 points to 252. And then you got Teixeira missing 50-plus games. You got Jacoby Ellsbury missing 50-plus games. I did not anticipate this. I thought they would be in the lineup, stupid me. I thought that they would be ready to play. And I never thought that the Toronto Blue Jays would lose games. I just thought the Yankees would keep on winning. I didn't know that the Yankees were going to lose three straight to the hapless Boston Red Sox, which has happened over the last three nights. They were on the verge of getting swept by Boston right now with a damn playoff berth on the line. I can't believe believe it. I'm very disgusted by it, but there is still hope. I can have vengeance just yet. Because remember Keep that the alive. likelihood is that the Toronto Blue Jays are going to have to play the wild card team. And the Yankees may be that team. Now, Maybe. they've beaten the Yankees 13 out of 19 times. They played them this year, and I get that. And the likelihood is that David Price will be the one the Yankees have to go up against. I get that. But all I'm trying to say is that these are the Yankees we're talking about. Are they? Are you and sure? This, and they're still hope. Listen, I'm going to tell you, this Yankees team mm. has proven more than any that these are the Yankees. The greatness of the Yankees, the tradition he that they have. Anything. The yeah. Yankees, uh -huh. this is why. There is no Derek Jeter. There's no Paul O'Neill. Back in the day, there's no Greg Nettles, Keep Reggie going. Jackson, Willie Randolph, yeah. Mickey Rivers, Chris Chambers. All of these boys are gone. Yet Yogi Berra, mm. Mickey Mantle, That's right. Yogi Ford, Ford, Lou Babe Ruth, Ruth. Don't Lou Garrett. I don't know about Babe Ruth. I don't yeah. want to talk about Babe Ruth, the most glorified runner-up in history. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. All I'm trying to say to you is this. In the end. There is still, even in the aftermath of the great Derek mm -hmm. Jeter's mm -hmm. departure, yep. the Yankees still find themselves relevant mm -hmm. at this moment in time. I am very disappointed with what I have seen from them over the last couple of weeks where they've lost like five of their last eight games at a key pivotal stretch. I am disgusted. CeCe Sabathia went down. I forgot about him. Tanaka was injured. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen him much. Yvonne Noven, Pineda in those Boys, I've got to rely. I'm very disgusted. And Adam Miller, I know you don't have to be Mario. I know you ain't Mariano Rivera. Mm -hmm. There's only one. But I literally saw a game that the Yankees won last week in which Adam Miller gave up a home run in the ninth mm -hmm. and then gave up another one in the tenth. He did. And they still won that saw game. It. But that is not a closer, okay? So I am very, very disgusted, perturbed, upset, whatever word you want to use mm -hmm. about the Yankees. But having said all of that, look at them. They're still alive. They're still alive, still in position to wreak 
have it. We oh. all know Toronto deserves to be the favorite. Yeah. But that doesn't mean they will capitalize on this. <clears throat> the regular season is one thing. Palms get a little sweaty. Mm. Backsides get mm. tight. Okay. Come postseason okay, time. I gotta write that down. We shall see. Mm. Okay. Are you finished rationalizing what just happened? I was finished telling the truth. He's keeping the hope alive. Okay. Spitting facts. That's what I was doing. But go ahead. All I have to say today is fly, Blue Jays, fly. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I'm going to remind our viewers that when I made that fairly bold prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the new Jays, as I called them at the time, had added David Price of Vanderbilt University. Your Yankees were six games ahead of, quote, unquote, my Blue Jays. So that was... That was a pretty strong prediction that I made. But I made it because I just don't trust your Yankees because they ain't your Yankees anymore. They've lost their backbone, their mystique. They're, they're, they're all living in the past the way you are. They wear the pinstripes like they're going to bring some magic from night to night. And there's no magic to be found. I think the magic just went north to Toronto mm. because they keep pulling off big win after big win after comeback big win. So... My question to you is, and by the way, but before I get to this, I told you your Yankees should be even further ashamed if they couldn't close this deal after Tulowitzki went down for the whole stretch well, run. But Teixeira went there, down there too. There's no Tulowitzki. Well, who's better, Tulowitzki or Teixeira? Well, who's more valuable to the team because the Yankees don't have much, so they needed to share. Oh, they don't have oh, much. They you don't. just admitted it. They don't. Oh, okay. Out. Now we know they don't have much. I said, but you got your two, all they you have. Got, you got your two horses. You needed one of them, Skip. Oh, okay. Now listen, listen. It's like this. Well, you, you just told me they're going to wreak revenge. What I was with saying what? to you is that you got supplementary parts that show up to Chase Headleys of the world mm -hmm. and others that can show up with their moments. What I was saying But you got was... to have the two. That's right. What <laughs> I was saying was what you got is the two guys that are supposed to show up for you, man. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know yeah. that. I, I should have known, yeah. but I didn't know yeah. Yeah. that one would fall off the wagon and drip yeah. and dip yeah. 25 points in yeah. his batting average, and the other guy would just be on a 15-day disabled list, maybe for about the 13th time in his career. That's true. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But this would be even more absurd. What if your Yankees miss the playoffs? Not just miss winning the division. What if it's impossible? It is still possible. Let me ask you a question, oh Yankee seer that you are. What if what if your Yankees lose to those, to quote you, hapless Red Sox one more time tonight at Yankee Stadium? And then guess what? They have to go play a division rival in Baltimore. No cakewalks there. No done deals there for three more games. And meanwhile, what if the hottest team in baseball, the Angels, go to Arlington to play the Rangers, who have no incentive to play for whatsoever? And what if they sweep, the Angels sweep the Rangers in Arlington? Well, guess what would happen? We, we would have a tie, and you'd have to have play a playoff game for the playoffs with the Angels. Are you sure that the hottest team in baseball couldn't beat your Yankees in a one-game playoff? That could happen. I think it's feasible, actually. Actually, there's, an even wor there's a significantly worse scenario for me personally okay. that you have not considered. Mm. Let's say, for example, that Toronto goes on a roll. And they wipe out my Yankees. That's bad enough. But the way the Royals are looking right now, you know, Holland goes down. Mm -hmm. I believe it's Holland that's going to have to have the season in the surgery. Quato has and really Quato struggled. Has just, yeah. he's just dry. He's yeah. just falling off mm -hmm. the map. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and they would have home field advantage. Toronto would, even in a tie break, even if they had the go records, Toronto would have home field advantage mm -hmm. against Kansas City. So, so they'd have home field advantage throughout the American League uh, playoffs race. Mm -hmm. The team that's most suited to beat them may very well be the New York Mets. Oh, so, so that would be a, even worse so I'm for a you. Yankee oh, okay. fan that would have would you to find to claim myself, the Mets? I would have to. I would have to sit there and tell you that I think the Mets would beat Toronto, which would make my boy Jeff happy, but make me sick to my stomach mm. because those are things that are sacrilegious it's one thing to sit there and acknowledge that they're going to win but i've heard you say so much about your toronto new jays mm -hmm. that it is impossible for me to root for them because of you okay so as a result of that it would force me to root for the new york mets who i believe will beat will beat 
the Los Angeles Dodgers and who would have a very good chance of beating St. Louis, even with Wayne Wright coming back because Yadier Molina has gone down and I don't know how long is he going to be out. I don't know how long. I don't even know he's going to be back. Mm -hmm. Can't lose him because he's the one that stirs that cup and keeps those pitches in check in St. Louis. So I would favor the Mets to win the NL pennant, which means they would meet the Blue Jays and I would have to root for the Mets. You know who I favor to win the NL pennant to make you rest easier? I think it's going to be the year of the Cubs. Mm. Cubs are not doing it. Arietta is no joke. By the way, I don't think he deserves the the uh, the, the, the Cy Young. Mm -hmm. I think that should go to Grinky. Mm. Grinky. So Arietta has been awesome and not well, awesome. Doesn't even begin in, in to the sum second it up. half. Okay. But Grinky has done what he has done all year long. I think he deserves it over Arietta. My oh. personal opinion. So Toronto's up one game on Kansas City in the AL has home field advantage in the World Series. I do have a silver lining for you. If the Yanks win tonight and beat their nemesis, the Red Sox. <laughs> It's win number 10,000. That's a milestone. 10,000? Yeah. Well, that's living in the past. feel good about that. So what? I mean... Listen, I had your back. I was just trying to help see, you out there. See, 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 people that are not accustomed to winning will bring up stats like that. Oh, okay. Me, what I lean on is the 27 World Series Championship. Okay. That's what I lean on. All right. That's what it is. The 27 Listen, World Series. in Connecticut, we're going to get and, an independent and, team I'm back, sorry, so I'm excited. Right, <laughs> but you've won one since 1999. Is that what it is? Will we win one every oh, decade? Mm. How about oh, okay. that? Okay, mm. okay. The Panthers are only this one year. of the early surprises this season at 3-0. and So where does Cam Newton rank in the MVP race? We'll discuss that topic after the break.